that I think I have been called to do in this hour. Um, get into the King James Version, John 7, 37 to 39. I want somebody to read that. I'm going to need a reader with a mic this morning. Amen. And, and, and just get John, King James Version, 7, 37 to 39. Hold it right there till I give this intro, okay? Because I'm here to teach this to the glory of God. Because we got so many young people out here who uh -huh. don't know who they are. You can say that again. Jesus. have no clue. And we have allowed the world to influence yes, them long have. enough. Holy God. And if somebody walked up to you off the street and said, Why are you saved? Why do you confess God? How do you know he real? Yes. How do you know this God you talk about and shout about and sing about and dance about? How do you know he is who he say he is? How do you know he's going to prepare a place? My God. Uh -huh. And all of these questions come in the hearing of today's church. So our young people are being swayed to Muslims. Yes. They're being swayed to which religion? They're being swayed to the Holy Ghost is not real. Yes. They're being swayed to, to, to all kind of demonic influences within their education arena. Yes. And so we as the body of Christ have a responsibility to our families and our communities. Uh-huh. To make sure that we get a solid foundation yes, yes, in the family today. Yes, yes, uh, we got to make sure when we send our kids off, they don't come back uh, somebody else. I ain't gonna I make sure if I send one of my spiritual sons somewhere that they don't come back under the influence of a witch. It's amazing to me that when I went to South Africa, there were demonic influences and witchcraft at the level that I never seen it at in my life. But if I did not have a belief system, no, I don't want to hear me. My faith in the Word of God was the only thing that kept me sane. Because people went to falling back and getting withered and getting wavering. But the Word of God. Others. So I'm going to share this uh, presentation with you because I did it to teach it again. Uh -huh. I'm going to share because see when people walk up on you with this willy nilly stuff, you got to know something. You can't be talking out the side of your mouth. You, you can't be talking about with no conviction. You can't. Won't nobody even follow you to church for nothing they believe talking about. So get your pen and your pencil, John Pen. To learn, I want you to learn them verbatim. If you, if I ask meet you out on the street, you can quote it. Uh huh. So, so these are things that you must know. Uh huh. Doing this dispensation. Yes. Because the enemy is turning tricks. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I can't get my mind. Yes. Now they got all kind of energy gods. Yes. All kind of idol gods. Yes. All kind of meditation All kind of meditation gods. And everything going the word of God. So let, let, let me share with you. Somebody got John in the King James Version. Just hold on one second, okay? Um, I'm going to talk from a subject for a Brother Ralph uh, a youth. Believe it or not. Uh-huh. Holy Ghost. Believe it or not. I'm not being in the church to believe this. You can believe it or not. Yes. So shall the word of God stand. Yes. What I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you seven principles. You must know this. You got to believe this. It's no longer good enough to hear the word without believing. Come on, yes. Yes. Come on teach it. Yes. Yes. We are timed out. Our clock, our time clock has buzzed out. For you to come to church Sunday after Sunday, stay the same. It's over. It's over. 
it's over. So you got to believe it or not. So shall the word of God stand. Somebody read the John scripture for me real loud. Uh, if you got a mic, amen. Do us just follow and then I'm going to share with you for a few moments. Amen. John 7, verse 37. 36. What manner of saying is this that he said? Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Is that 39? Just 139. Is right. that 39? Yes, yes, yes. Finish 39. Amen. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. You can take your seats. Let's go here for a minute. Thank you, uh -huh. Believe it or not. Thank you, Jesus. In this world today, it is complex with man's intellect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the spirit of the living God seems to be on demise. Mm -hmm. Where are the voices crying out in the wilderness? Yeah. What must I do to be saved? Where is the generation that hungers and thirsts after righteousness? Where are the all night terror service? Nobody believes hell is real. Uh -huh. Oh, I am. They believe that, that uh, they can live and do anything, yet we have hope on services. Declare in peace. Only if they can come back and tell the real story. Just how hot hell really is. These are our loved ones that are falling in a bottomless pit. But we still have no urgency to witness and to warn. You don't want to go to hell. My friend, you don't want to go to hell, my friend. It is imperative in today's time that we understand that there are things that we must know. We must believe it and we got to know it. What my goal is this morning is to teach you seven things you must believe. Do not question me. Believe me. Jesus. I didn't say that. The Holy Ghost just said that. Uh -huh. He said, do not question me, Jesus. but believe me. But believe me. That's good. Seven things you must believe. The first one, get your Bibles so we can, we can run and walk through the Word because I can't teach you without, because see, we got to stand on the Word of God. Uh -huh. The first thing you got to believe that is coming. Them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, 
even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with them. Now watch this. Where are they going to bring them? During the rapture. Uh -huh. Your mom and your daddy, your grandma, whoever went to heaven before you, if we rapture tonight, Jesus. I'm going to let you keep reading here in a minute, through 18. If, if we rapture tonight, uh -huh. you're going to see mama coming on the cloud. Yeah. He's going to be on the white horse, but mama is going to be standing in the cloud. Jesus. The Bible is here to teach us, not only is the rapture, this is the come rapture in 1 Thessalonians, Paul was teaching. All right? So they are going to break. The sky is going to crack open. And as far as you can see, the saints that died in him. Come on. Uh -huh. The Bible said they come in first before they come in rapture. That word means to be caught up, to catch up. And they're going to come and get us. And we're going to get on the clouds with them. And we're going back. Uh -huh. Now keep reading through 18. 15. For this we say unto you by the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord uh -huh. shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. Don't, 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 don't believe nobody telling you that he ain't gonna crack the sky. That's right. He's not coming back to get no church. Don't you let uh -huh. listen to me, young people. Now see, our little season, don't ask me no crazy questions uh -huh. when I teach you good. Because uh -huh. I'm not going back in circles with us questioning the word of God. Yes. Yeah, I right. said, take nothing and add them to it. Yes. That's why I'm getting, I'm getting ready to walk you through these scriptures. So don't come with no crazy question because I need you to stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. I don't care if they tell you. No, uh, Christ is not the Son of God. Jesus. See, y'all looking at me. Jesus. But there's coming a day that man won't even endure sound doctrine. I'm giving you sound doctrine that men in not even two years' time are not going to want to believe nothing in this book. So, so you already in your spirit. Come on, keep reading. And with the trump of God, uh -huh. the dead in Christ shall rise first. Watch it. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 God. Oh,
wisdom in the cloud, uh -huh. to meet the Lord in the air. Uh -huh. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Because y'all looking at gravity, uh -huh. so I'm going to find some pictures give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh -huh. Other than that in picture, it's people thought you can't yeah. believe because of gravity that we're going to need these feet to yeah. and begin to float in the air. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. 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 Gonna be called up hey, to meet him. I didn't say it the verse. Hey, the dead gonna rise first, and he, you are, you going we got to come back because you remained in him. Uh -huh. So I got to get all of my church. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm trying to comfort you. Uh -huh. in seminary mm -hmm. and this demon came up to me and she was working there and her face distorted in front of me and she said do you really, really believe what you say you believe oh, but see I have really really calmed down oh, over Lord. time uh -huh. I cast the devil out of her in the office uh -huh. you know me? Yes. I went completely postal my on Lord. her yes. Yes, yes. and see see when you Listen, you got to understand this. When we get through hooping and hollering, we got to go. 
know where we going. Yeah. 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 I, I don't believe that. I, I, I'm one of the people that's intellectually sound. Yes. Yes. The wisdom of God sits on my head. Yes. I don't play no games with yes. nobody. Yes. I got to, y'all got to get this stuff in you. My Lord. And it's my responsibility and pastor's responsibility to get this kind of teaching in you. Yeah, God. Y'all can run around the church next month. Come on, let's yes. yes, go. Get this Bible. Somebody read Revelation 21 and 8. What did it say? But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers well, and idolaters well, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Mm. Right, right now. Second. Right there. Come on now. Hell is a place. Hell is a place. Now you're not going to get Jesus. in the rapture or heaven Come on now. if you're doing any of these. Come on. That's right. That's right. And you cannot allow the church of today to convince you Come on that you can sin and Come continue to run to the altar. That's right. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's good. Come on. That's That's right. you, 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 this, this, this mentality that's in the body of Christ, oh, his grace is sufficient, and it is. Come on. But when I am accountable, the word of God, Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Is this too many eyes and beasts? 
in the uh -huh. end. Yeah. Where, where did that one come from? What that a thing. Bible that I don't have a commentary that I don't get in deep study and deep prayer about. God will not give me revelation. That's right, Jesus. But that don't mean I don't believe. That's it. right. Yes. I believe a monster can come out the ocean. I believe. Uh -huh. it. Yeah, let's yeah. Play. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Come on. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? The unbeliever. You're going to be punished. Somebody shout, this by my faith. This is by my faith. All along, this was about what you believed in. That's why, and watch this. What does God judge? Because he can't judge your mouth. Because your mouth will say you believe. But your heart will say something different. Something else. You teach it, Holy Ghost. You say, I trust God. You know, you don't trust me, but I trust God. Oh, I've been praying. You don't know me. I've been praying. Come on. With your mouth. Which is right. I don't pray with an unsurrendered heart. Somebody say hell is a place. Only the believers. Somebody shake your hands. I got to believe this stuff. I, got, I, I can't come to church Sunday to Sunday and don't believe. Because your emotions not going to get you in. Your crying. None of that going to be. A heart that believes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. get, get Revelation 20 and 15. I'll give you one more before I get out of here. Matthew 3 and 12. We still talk about hell as a place. Because I got to convince you. I got to show you through the word of God. Because you think people be up in sweating and trying to get you to heaven because we don't have nothing else better to do. You teach it. Who got it? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life uh -huh. was cast into the lake of fire. All right, now. now, how do you get your name in the Lamb's book of life? Romans 25, Revelation, I'm sorry, 2015. How do you get your name in the Lamb book of life? Live right, what else? Believe. Believe. Come on. Believe. You got to understand. Yes. That's why I read you John in the beginning. Believe. Your heart, and you gonna practice sin. 
Come on, believe it alone, because I got to have it right there. So, so somebody get in Matthew 3 and 12. What that say? Whose bed is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Hell is a place where fire is. Now look at this uh, diagram in the bottom here. Kind of give you a depiction according to the Bible of where hell is located. We're going back for a minute. It's in the middle of the earth. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, the devil don't want to see it. We're we, we going to find out where it's location is. We ain't going, but we just want to tell somebody else. If they choose to go, I'm going to let you know where the location is. If, if you study the Bible in the core of the earth, because it's a bottomless pit, so there's no end to it. So once you get through the outer earth, you, you look, that red area is going to be hell. In the middle, because um, for the rest of your days, yes. you're going to be falling and burning. My God. So you're not only going to feel like you've been on a roller coaster and then it dropped. Uh -huh. That's how you're going to feel the rest of your life, and you're going to be and burning. And burning. And burning. Mm. There is no bottom. The Bible makes a description. This fire is hot. Than any fire we are familiar with. Yes. Yes. So it ain't like putting your hand on the stove and you get burned. It's seven times hotter than that. Teach compass. Somebody shout, hell is a place. Hell is a place. We got five minutes. Let's go to the next. I got to get through these. Because see, in the next series, I'm going to teach you seven things you must believe. And I'm going to teach you several more things you cannot believe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't call for the, don't, don't fall for the hokey though. Don't fall for this devil. He trying to present you a false gospel. Okay, let's go to this one real quick. Holiness is right. All day. It's not outdated, Sister Christian. It's, it's right. It's right every day of the week. It's right with every religion. Yes, oh, how the Pope which we would, would have what came to my class. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how the Catholic Church wish now they would have came up in holy. Oh, Jesus. Y'all ain't listen at this. Look how quiet the church is. Uh -huh. All these people. Now what if they were just taught holiness? Yes, yes God. You got a prayer for of a babies that been molested. Yes, Uh -huh. Come on, uh -huh. come on, all it, all it. Go to Holy Ghost. Whatever you do, once you get your rolls, your pearls, uh -huh. and 